Hello, friend, and welcome back to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word comes from Harmony Klingenmeyer, Becker, Minnesota. You are a man of war. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will praise him. My Father's God, I will exalt him. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Exodus 15, 2 and 3. The Lord says, To my sons I say, You are a man of war. It is time for my men to trade in their sexual lust for battle lust. My sons have forgotten the feel of a sword in their hands. They have forgotten the strategy of war. They have forgotten how to identify the right enemy at the right season. For there is a season of war which my sons understood in ancient days. My sons are made for battle. I have placed within them my warrior spirit and a desire to conquer what threatens their families and their territories. The emasculating spirit of Ishtar has propagated a cultural war against the spirit of men, the warrior spirit within them. She places a high value on a man she can control. She places pressure upon genders to conform to the very opposite of what I have decreed over them. For confusion and chaos are Ishtar's end goals. This is the enemy that my sons are called to go to war against because it is coming for their children. The Lord says, Rise like a man of war. Shake yourself. Shake off the sleepiness of technology. For your mind, it has become numb and easily satisfied by fake war on screens. Remember my son David, who stayed at home in the season when kings go out to war, and therefore he fell into the arms of the wrong kind of lust. He became a victim when he was called to be a victor over his enemies. Trade in your sexual lust for battle lust, says Yahweh. In the end, the wrong kind of lust will cost, it will cost you the fruit of the womb. My desire is to redeem the fruit of the womb, to reconnect men, my sons, to their identity as warriors and conquerors. I designed you to protect, to be the watchman on the walls of your family, with a building tool in one hand and a sword in the other. You are called to be the first line of defense against your family's enemies. There is a massive focus on the women of this nation right now as well, a call to Deborahs and Esthers. Remember why I caused these women to arise for their generation, to awaken the warrior spirit of my sons. It took a Deborah to inspire Barak to call up the troops to go to war against the Syrians. It took an Esther to open the eyes of a king to the schemes of Haman. The purpose of the righteous women's movement is to awaken the fathers in the land to their God-given assignment of protection and provision. Do not be silent. Do not leave the war to my daughters. Rise up, O man of war. Heavenly Father, in your mighty name, I thank you for the men who are rising up. I thank you, Lord, for those who have a warrior spirit within them, Father. It's not a different spirit. It's the Holy Spirit. And Father, I pray that, that I and my friend, that we can, Lord, stand up when you call us to. Lord, that we can shake ourselves off that we can move out of technology or out of a falsified sense of, of safety or security. Lord, I pray that we would understand that we are called for such a time as this. Lord, I thank you that men have a part to play in this next season, that women have a part to play in this next season. And friend, wherever you find yourself, I pray that we can be watchmen on a wall, that we can be those who are watching for our families. We are praying, we are protecting, we're encouraging, we're rising up that we're doing the things that God has placed on us to do, that we do it heartily under the Lord, Father, that we trade in the, the wrong kind of lust for the, the lust that's battle. And even that word is, is a little bit screwy, but I thank you, Father, for, for what it, the deeper truth that it represents. That, Lord, we have a zeal and a passion to follow you, to do your will. And that's what we're going to do. Friend, I, I call on you today to rise up in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.